welcome to our video tutorial. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about audio and SoundForge Audio Studio 10 is which is uh, bundled with the Movie Studio 10 software. Uh, most of the software packages that you buy from Movie Studio have SoundForge included and it's a great audio program to fix some of the audio problems that you may experience. I have a file here that for some reason has simply been recorded on the left channel only and I want to be able to fix that. How do I do it? Well first of all you can see by the waveform pattern here it's fairly low in the sound volume and I want to change the volume. One of the nice things about uh, computers and digital audio is the fact that you can raise the volume up and down quite a bit without any distortion. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to go to process down to volume and we can adjust exactly here at what percentage we want to raise that volume up. I'm going to go up here to about 325 and we'll see what that does. We're going to rate, wait for the process to continue and now you see that the waveform pattern has increased quite a bit. Let's press play and see what that's like. Okay, but we still have a problem that it's only on the left track and I want it to be a mono sound which would be dead in the center of the two tracks. So we can go up here and do save as and you notice the properties here. I have a wave that is that's the property, that's the type of format we're going to save it to. And down here we have audio 48,000 hertz, 16-bit mono PCM. And this is what I want. I want a mono sound because obviously voices are not stereo. So let's do that and see what happens. And now we have a nice mono signal that will play on both sides of the speakers. So now we've uh, saved that and we can use that into our videos as well. We can also do lots of other effects. Let's go up here to effects and see some of the things that we can do. Reverb is a very common effect. I suggest if you use it, you just use a touch of it because it's real easy to overdo it. But let's try by using the preview what it would sound like. Okay, on this segment we have the audio noise of the fan in the background. And uh, this is uh, going to be so that you can hear what is going on. And as you can see, you can adjust that to sound like you're in an echo chamber or just a slight amount. And we have a lot of other effects too. And you can also buy effects, you can download effects, because it does use VST effects and other types of common effects. Uh, you can load them into the proper folders and you'll be able to use them anytime you want. We can go, for instance, to our FX favorites. And we can try, for instance, a chorus delay. Okay, we can go to our FX favorites and we'll try the Sony ones that are included with SoundForge. Let's try something like chorus. And we can preview that. And it sounds like it's several of me talking, which uh, is kind of frightening in itself. But uh, uh, see, you can... Do all sorts of things, manipulations with your sound just to kind of sweeten things up or make some really bizarre sounds. Now if you want to go to the bizarre sounds, uh, you can do that too. Let's go up here to the effect and let's go to the pitch bend. And this is kind of a neat one. If you have a particular uh, play or something and uh, you're the only one that's doing the voice, you can change your voice around. I have this one changed here. Let's see what it sounds like. Or we could make it very low. Let's try that one. Or a lot, anything in between. Okay, on this segment we have the audio noise of the fan in the background. And uh, this is uh, going to be so that you can... So as you can see, you can do a lot of interesting things with this particular program.